Hello ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, and welcome to Kingdom Co uh, Come, um, I can't remember the name, Kingdom Come Deliverance, that is what it is called, it's over here. Uh, this is set in 1904 Bohemia, I believe, and I can't remember what I was doing last time, and I don't recognise this place. Hmm, is this... Oh, hi. Hey, oh, Lord sorry. Almighty. Um, I have no idea where I am. This didn't help me. Where the fuck am I? Oh, I'm outside Ratai. Oh, I'm at the bathhouses. Uh, okay. Um, so at the moment, I've, oh, I've got this side objective to lock pick a, um, a lock. Unfortunately, I'm not exactly good at lock picking yet. It's like the it's like hardest difficulty lock picking. Uh, there's in the glade there, Sassau over here, which I have been to, but uh, I haven't done much looking around in. And I've got to wait till morning uh, at dawn, which I believe it is right now. No, it's dusk. <laughs> ah, that's close enough. Oh, excuse me, lady. I need to come. I need to come through here. Thank you. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, so this is um, a role-playing game where you play as Henry the Blacksmith's son. Uh, Henry of Scallets, I believe it would be done. And as I said before, 1300, uh, sorry, 1409 BC, I believe it is. You get your swords. Oops, Kai engine game. You got your swords. You've got your bows. you got shields if I had one on me, but I don't. I'm going to want a torch out because you can't walk around without a torch. Uh, you got your armor and all this sort of goody stuff here. You of course have a leveling system, you got plus two charisma for something or another and everything you do is like ever so slightly increased. Your needs have been satisfied and you feel self confident. <clears throat> Uh, so that'll be why I have the plus two, and that that'll be because I got um, I went to the bathhouse and I got a wench, which of course means the sexy times with anyone that is involved. And because of what you're wearing changes your weight, I've t I've gone for like a leather. Like this is this is like like um, I'm trying to remember the name of the word studded letter, leather, and a padded. Jacket as well for the body armor, and I got like full armor for the head. But I don't have a necklace, I haven't found a necklace yet, so I have no idea what I would be looking for. So we're gonna go up here into Ratai, which is one of the big towns. Big towns, as far as big goes, is like Ratai is basically the big main town. You have this little sort of one around here, and this is a giant ass church. But this is the biggest castle that I've discovered so far. I don't believe there's any other place like this. is about the map. And this is more of a village with a um, castle, not a castle, a um, church in it. And Townburg sort of like a fortified uh, sort of village up here with a small village around it. Same with um, what Scallus was. Scallus was a fortified um Fortified castle with a smaller town dotted around the place around it. I have not been to Ravona. I think I ran through there at one point. That was about it. Let's go in. We need to wait until morning to um, go hunting. That's what we're doing. We're going hunting. You can knock people out and pickpocket and all that good stuff. However, it is quite difficult to do, especially if you have a torch out. And people will um, r report you to the the coppers if you are uh, if you're caught doing such. Hey, you're not walk you're walking around without a um. Is something the matter? Yeah, you're walking around without a torch. God be with you. Can I trade with you at this point? No. May the Lord watch over you. Yeah, that's nice. I was wondering if you could trade with him. Uh, real quick, it's seal underscore f o v. 90? Yeah, so that's that's how you change it in Crying Engine. It originally had a maximum of this. Which brought everything in real close. 
and it makes things look weird. But um, that's how you get around a really shallow FOV. His hair looks weird. Oh, the game has stopped. Oh, we're good. Hey. Dropping a few frames. This is basically running on Ultra. Basically, settings, graphic settings. Yeah, like full, full Ultra. Um, apart from physics, because they don't really matter. And shadows, because let's be honest, shadows don't make that much of a difference. And um, they tend to hurt more than they help. Okay. Have to do that every time you go into the graphics menu. Congratulations! Thank you. Oh. I didn't know that would happen. Um, that happened even. Are this guy still open? They shouldn't be. Hey, why are you leaving the door open? Hey. I want to buy some beer. Cheap wine, cooked pork, horseradish. Ah, oh, yeah, you've got all these stats down here as well, like nourishment and energy and all that crap. And as you talk to more people, then um, the speech goes up and your charisma and... I can't remember where it is, but there may be, there may be one of them that um, uh, adds to your combat. Like when you, when you get speech checked, you have charisma, speech, and like your fear. Oh hey, so Hanish. Hanish even. He just walks around, you can't actually interact with him at all. Ah, the music. I should really go pick up a shield. What's my carry weight at the moment? 90 out of 105. I should go and pick up a shield from somewhere. Hey, Rock. I don't know Good you. Good health to you. You're a beggar, so... Yeah. Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was on account of our silver and how Sir Radzig sided the king. May the Lord watch well, that was it. You. Okay. Um. So yeah. Uh. Your your town of uh, Scallops was what is it? attacked at the beginning of the game. It's how this game starts, and it's your call to um your call to action. I feel like I've gone the wrong way, dude. Hey, watch it. Shut up. Uh, I gotta go up here. And this is the inner Bailey, which is like the um. If I bring out the map. A this so this is sort of like the the town of Red Eye. It's a fortified town. Then inside the town you have another fortified area known as Bailey, and then you have the castle. So this is the um the the blacksmith uh somewhere else. I may be thinking of a different town. Uh yeah, I may be thinking of a different town. But you have the blacksmith up near the castle because this blacksmith is important for making weapons. So if this place were to get attacked, you could um he could run in there quicker. I don't know what he is, a huntsman. Okay. You have your traders at the far end of town and your armourers as well. Yeah, this is the inner bailey. Hi doggy. Hey townsperson. And a church. Ah oh, man, okay guys, time to go home. It's fucking midnight, almost. It's well dark outside. So we gotta wait here until like 6 a.m. Evening guard. You can steal these horses. Um, not these ones because they got the um. The the, I don't know the jacket on the coat. Um, but if you just find a horse, you can steal them. But if you get off and get back on, no matter where you go in the uh, in the game, people will know you've stolen it. Which is a little thing I'm not too keen on, is the fact that people know you've stolen something, even if you were to go... Like, if I were to steal something from Rat-Eye, like a horse from Rat-Eye, fine, and I ride all the way up to here, in, like, I, I full gallop on the way up, get off and get back on, these people will know that I've stolen from them. Like, re really? They wouldn't know that. Now, is there a place for me to sleep in here? No. Let's have a sit. Do I have any books to read? I think I have a book to read. So, um, the way you read books, or the way you sort of fast level, as it were, are the sharp enough. Can I read this yet? 
I've already read that one. Is you actually read the books. Fiction is a phenomenon. What just happened? Why don't I get up? No. Sit. Oh, I'm eating from the pot. That's gonna... Sit. Thank you, William. No, not William, you're Henry. Uh, Arthur? I'm pretty sure I've read this one already. I'm not. Can I read this one or is it too hard? No. So, um, yeah, as you read more books, you get better at reading books. As you can probably guess. Uh, and you gross into your money. <clears throat> and you have all these uh, different things, like Save Your Snaps allows you to save. I've modded that out. It's very quick and it basically just saves you a hundred dollars each time to save. Because, you know, I just want to save whenever. Unknown Potion, I don't know what it does, so I'm going to drink that. What did it do? Buffs? Reading some... No. No. It didn't do anything. <coughs> Uh, I'm just gonna wait here then. Let's have a seat here. And wait. Because we'll probably still feel the warmth for that fire. Uh, let's go out to. Uh, 6 hours? 5 a.m.? That sounds like a good good time to uh, to be meeting at dawn. Is it dawn yet, or do we need to wait another hour? I'm waiting for the, uh, the young lord of the land at this moment. Hey doggies. That seems like we need to wait for another hour. Let's just wait here by the dogs. Just chill. And you can cancel this wait at any time and come out at 6.42 and 59 seconds if you so decide. Hi. You're looking more promising. There you are. Hands. Let's go here hunting, my friend. I'm overjoyed. Have you got a horse? No, sir. Where would someone like me get a horse? Good point. Unless it was a cart horse, I suppose. Well, you just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. Whatever you say. Take care now. Do I get to jump on the horse? Nope. I literally, okay, guess I have to literally run behind him, or walk in this case. Fortunately it's the case is the walk is slightly too slow, but it makes sense now because he's on a, he's on a horse. So my walking is slightly slower than his walking, my, I guess, jogging, his default speed is slightly faster. I'm going to put my torch away real quick. I don't need it. I'm here. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Hurry up, blacksmith. I'm next to you, dude. Oh, I could unhorse him if I really wanted to. It's the option for that. Yeah, unhorse. Just pull him off the horse. That's how combat works in this. You can just pull people off horses. Come on, dude. You're running a bit slow there. Look here, blacksmith. About that business at the alehouse. Yes, sir. Hannes was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. You understand? Yes. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was um, a little upset. Ah, I'd just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honour, Hanush is on my back about it and I get punished, like now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. Yeah, let's go hunting. This game is gorgeous looking though. Grass sprites are a little iffy when you look at them at the wrong angle, like there. But um, if you're running through them, it looks great. Really nice. The cry engine can make anything look good. 
He's trees. Oh, hi. You would you say so? Dun, dun. Henry, I wanted to ask you about scallops. I don't know if um, that is so. Uh, I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. The Cumans attacked scallops, and um, oh, anyone who didn't flee. That's what they all say. I want details. Is it really necessary, sir? Arguing with the nobility again, eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that... Well, it's hard for me to talk about. I see. So I'll have to get you drunk first. I'm not sure even that would work. We'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of here. We'll camp there and you can tell me all about it. If you wish, sir. And don't dilly-dally. Let's try and get there before the day's out. Oh, are we going to the Inn in the Glade, her chance? I may have been there already. We're not going to the Inn in the Glade, are we? Is this the Inn in the Glade? I have been teleported against my will. I do not enjoy it here. I don't know, it's just a place. We'll make camp here. Right here. It's a really nice looking place. This game looks really good. I'd love to try and get it running in 4K because this is this is playing on a 4K monitor that's been down to uh, down to got to 4K uh, 1080p, and the game's playing at 1080. But um, I really love to have it running at 4K at full full resolution. Bring me wine and bacon from the saddlebag. Why did you do that? Why didn't you bring it with you? Saddlebag, fetch wine and bacon. You got bacon. You got wine. Hey, what Coming do you up, want, sir? At long last. Uh, got in time. Did we get so? Are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am, although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Rate for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. I'm not sure I'll be able. Don't worry, I don't expect much of you. Just avoid getting in my way and collect what I shoot. But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So, tell me about Scallops. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. I don't know, sir. I didn't have time to count them. Both of my parents were killed in Scallops, right in front of my eyes. The Cumans slaughtered my friends and neighbours, and it was a miracle I got away. I don't know what else I can add. I'm sorry about that. But tell me, I heard in the tavern... What, that Sigismund flew down on a dragon? That the Cumans have horns and hooves? I'm sorry, my lord, but for me, Scallops isn't a tale of adventure to share over a tankard of ale. All right. I understand. Well, never mind. Anyway, it's too late to go anywhere today. But tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, sir. Isn't it like... Isn't it like 10 a.m.? Wow, we took fucking... How far did we go? I mean, most of the map. See, we took like 10 hours to do that. Wait till dawn. I don't have any books with me. Ah. What's in here? Any books? Sick. Um. I take these arrows. You're probably worse than what I have already. Ah. Uh, okay. I was curious if there'd be a book in here, but there isn't one. 
Let's sleep and save here. Every time you sleep, it saves, and you don't use a uh, a savio schnapps. Comfort thirty. Yeah. yeah, you don't you don't use a savio schnapps whenever you save or you exit. But if you you uh, were to save partway through a day, like you're you're walking down a road and you save, that would normally use a a savio schnapps, but they removed that. Okay, are we good to go now, sir? Master Hannon, or hands. Sir, wake up, sir. It's time to go. What? Are you mad? It's still dark. I thought we were going to get an early start, sir. Early means at first light. Light, you dolt. Do you want me to break my neck in the black of night? It's literally light behind you, man. God be with you. It's literally going through your... How is this dark? Fine, I'll wait like 10 minutes. I'm gonna assume first light means 6 o'clock. There it is. Hi. What are you waiting for? Your lord requires you for the hunt. Oh, really? Such a renowned hunter needs help? You wouldn't dare mock your betters now, would you? Heaven forbid, your lordship. If that's the way you want it, peasant, we'll meet back here at noon. Whoever has the most hairs wins. Oh, and if you don't have anything to shoot with, there's a crate in the camp with some old hunting equipment. You can help yourself. After all, there's no sport in trouncing some wretch who hasn't a chance in hell. Certainly. By all means, Sir Hans. Ha! You'll soon be laughing on the other side of your grubby face. I am really bad at the archery in this. For a while. I know a few tried and tested spots in these woods, and I don't want you stealing them. Okay. Let's go rabbit hunting. So the archery just obviously removes the um the marker. I saw a rabbit here, but that was like five hours ago. Oh, probably about seven or eight hours ago, wasn't it? If I can't find one, Shoom. don't see any hairs. Oh, there's one. And boop, miss. Oh, there's two right here. Look at that. Ah. No, come back here. Was there another hair here? No, just this guy. Let's pick up these arrows. Oh, do I not have any arrows? What? 10, 30, yeah. I had 46 of these arrows. What, what do you mean? Nailed it. That was a good shot. Ew. I'm hearing the arrows fly somewhere. Uh Oh, hi there. Got it. Level up with the bow as well. Get my arrow back. Hello, Mr. Wabbit. I'm gonna get you, Mr. Wabbit. I really hope I don't run into hands as he loses an arrow. That would be interesting because I know my reflex would be to shoot one back. <laughs> At this point, I have had to beat hands up a few times, actually. One in archery, one with a sword, and one with my best fist. Hey, buddy. Ooh. 
There's one just over there as well. Fuck you. You and there's one further down the road as well. Ah, oh, he's gone. He went into this bush here, I think. Yeah, there he goes. Just over here. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, miss. Actually, he's actually kind of difficult, even at close range. Got him. But it's saying you supposedly should really learn how to do. What? You mean I can't take that arrow? I oh, just disappeared then. I'm still using the right lot of arrows, yeah? Um. Yes, 34. So, is it just area now? Yeah, let me return to camp at some later point. Let's see. Look how gorgeous this looks. Those gold rays are great. Oh, it's raining as well. Yay. Love rain. Rain's awesome. Got him. Ooh, leveled up. Where did he go? Here he is. I lost like six arrows doing that. That was not a good kill. You know, the good kill which just wasn't cost effective. Um. See if there's any more back over this way. I believe you can pick these. Yeah, you can pick them, and there's um, there is some amount of alchemy, but I have not gone into it yet. I just know that it is there. Oh, it is the camp. It is the camp. I am gonna mark this location. Yeah, just so I remember where it is. How many arrows have I got in here? I could pick up. Ah, 30 arrows. Yeah, let's do that. You see the arrows instead of my special ones. Hunting arrows. Seems like a one hit kill to a uh, rabbit either way, so. Why not? Oh. back. I won't hurt you, which is a rather large stick of mine. Ah, oh, packing ran away. Ah, oh, they way too big. Oh, did that get it? Oh, baby, it did. Look at me, pro sniper. Uh, any more in this area? What time is it? Eight o'clock. Four more hours. Have I leveled up at all? No, I've got a point of putting vitality though. Balanced diet. If you don't overeat or get too hungry, five consecutive days, you'll get a bonus. Oh, that's good. You can dispel hunger with anything. You won't suffer being poisoned or spoiled food, but neither will you have any positive effect from it. Ooh! That... That's actually kind of useful. Gonna take this. Because that's easier to get going. Uh, anything in here? No. <laughs> Yeah, activated the book. Balanced diet. 
Space. Oh, ooh. A deer. Lots of deer. I want to see if I can take this guy out. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I can... Ooh. Red Deer Venison. A hundred of them. Damn. Yeah, I'm well over encumbered now as well. Damn, you get a lot of meat from that. Why is that red? Oh, because it's damaged as shit. How many did I get? Red Deer Venison. Oh, how much vitality does it do? Eight nourishment. I could do that. Dried meat. How much do you do? Six. Eat them. Eat some water. Eat some water. Yeah. Drink some water. And uh, let's just drop all of this. Thank you. I'm still over encumbered because of all this hair weight. Hair meat. Sorry. Um, I don't know if I need to be keeping this though. It's the issue. Drop that. Drop this very light bow because it's not worth anything. Okay, no longer encumbered. And nobody will find it. Um, I wonder if he is actually still around here. The hounds, or if he just despawns for a short while. Kind of scared I'm going to run into a, a dead body or a bunch of bandits in the forest be like well now I'm gonna have to fight this shit found it quite interesting I played this as um as an RPG rather than a story and I was just like well I'm just gonna go do everything before the story actually gets to uh to where it needs to go and I got to what was essentially the tutorial for the sword play in the game. And you're like, oh, I see you've never held a sword before. And I'm walking around with two and a half thousand groschen that I stole, uh, that I stole off of dead bodies, and a sword covered in blood. <laughs> and I'm just like, no, nah, I've been around a few, a few battle fights. And then he proceeds to kick my ass because Henry doesn't know how to fight. Therefore, none of the abilities that I would need to know uh, to fight him. I knew, like, they weren't accessible. <laughs> so I've been running around fighting people at about half mast. And doing okay at it, actually. Uh, any more for any more forest friends? How far away have I gone? Oh, not that far, actually. And the time. I'd guess about 10. Oh, 9. That's a pretty good guess, actually. If I put the shadow... No, no, it's fading away before the edge of my screen there. See, so is the shadow fading away because of the field of view? Or if it's... It's definitely fading away earlier because of the, the extended field of view. But not, it is fading away before the edge of the screen. Probably more to do with the shadow settings than anything else. I mean, keeping 70, about 70, in a place with this many dynamic shadows is... Pretty damn good for a little 1060. Which is doing all the work. Like the CPU's at 70%, 60-70%. But the, the GPU is definitely pulling its own weight at 100. <laughs> and I mean, it shows. This game makes Crisis look bad. Like, and when I say Crisis, I mean Crisis 3. Not Crisis 1. Crisis 1 even nowadays still looks good but it is definitely starting to show its age even on the even if you can get it to run at 4k ultra resolution ultra settings there are definitely noticeable issues with the sprite works like on the leaves and shit but it's still a good game it should be about 11 30 ish i reckon no, 11 10 ish Start heading back, I suppose. Hey, you've arrived. 
How's it going? How, How did, did you the get? Hunt go for you, sir? I did quite well. Look, show me. Not bad, though. Quite good, actually, for a common blacksmith boy. Um, shouldn't there be some reward for the victor? Jesus, the insolence! A serf asking his lord for coin, but never let it be said I'm a pinch purse. Oh, I won. Well, okay, then. how many Your did he get? Humbly thanks you, my lord. And now come along. Let's go and hunt some real. A hundred groschen. Neat. Okay, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go put all this food back in here. No nope. food. Um, Q. Yep. I'm coming, sir. I'm here. Are we hunting something with antlers, sir? Because I just learned how to take them. It'd be really great if we learned if we uh, hunted something with antlers. Also, that's not how you ride a horse uphill. <sighs> you meant to lean forwards on it because you're just going to fall over backwards like that. I know this shit. <laughs> what exactly are we hunting right now? Is it deer? Oh, it's a boar. You want to take him down with an arrow? Certainly. Why? Why wouldn't I? You won't kill him like that. Boar is hunted with spears. Is that so? So now all of a sudden you're a master huntsman, are you? Watch and learn. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Quiet. So. Next time you try to tell me I can't kill a boar with an arrow, you can... <laughs> Fuck! After him! Fetch! <laughs> mount up, Henry! Chase down that swine! What do you mean, mount up? I don't have a horse! You didn't give me a horse. How can I mount up? I guess I just have to run after him now. I have no idea where he went. This way. Run down that boar. The boar. What do you mean objective failed? He was along here somewhere. Is he being bloody gored at the moment? Ah, oh, he's just in this area, isn't he? Oh. Is that... No, it's just light on a rock. Say, so is that like a fire or something? Is it just this whole area? Oh, god damn. Well, he was running this way. I'm gonna go down here. Ooh. Camp. I just alerted to my presence. No, I didn't. It's coming. Stab! Cut! 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 He's dead. No talk, no talk. Ow. It's combat. I'm stuck in a tree here. Get some. Yes. You damn Kerman. Bastards. Take a Kerman ear. Sure. <laughs> Why? I mean, I'll take it, but I don't know why. <laughs> Leather gloves. Ooh, chain. That's expensive. So is that. 
Uh, that'll put me over though. Let me just see what this other guy's got. Uh, money. Knight's hunting sword. Is that his hunting sword, do you reckon? Oh, that's Lee. Take these gloves. Noble's mail. That's not that good. 24 wounding arrows. It's 2.4. Uh, one of them. What's this weight, though? Weight. Four. Yeah, let's do that. See if that's actually any better than Assassin. No. Slightly better for, for blunt damage, but other than that, it's pretty much useless. What is my nourishment? 92. You just hang on a second, Hans. I'm making sure this place is clear. Ooh, lock picking. I can show you how to lock pick. So lock picking in this game is pretty simple. Gotta find the place where it goes. Oh, and move it around as it goes. Got him. And then it opens this up. Aqua Vitalis. You feel like Achilles and can withstand wounds easily for five minutes. Strikes will wound you 50% less. That's dope. Increases. Strength and invokes a broad flame for two minutes. Damage you inflict in melee combat significantly increased, but at the same time, your defense is significantly lowered. Hmm, I'm okay with that. I'm coming, sir. How's it going? Where's your horse? I'll have a bronze bust made of you, my friend. But where have you been till now? Oh, you know, I was picking berries, had a drink of wine, took a little nap. <laughs> you lunatic! They almost had me roasting on a spit! <laughs> I'd say it looked more like they were about to take your maidenhood. Now look here, dung grubber. Is that any way to speak to a nobleman? A nobleman with crushed balls, friend. <laughs> Now, you're playing with fire, boy. I could have you in the pillory for that. And then with my own two hands, I'd... Crush your balls! <laughs> that wound doesn't look good, Sir Hans. You're right. Those cumin swine roughed me up a bit. And my damned horse is bolted. You'll have to get me home somehow. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Who knows how many bandits are creeping around here. Let's go, then. I've had quite enough excitement already. Yes, yeah, so let's wander on out of here. I wonder if it's just going to teleport us back. Or... Yeah. It's Lord Capon. I've taken my helmet off. Everybody. You help him. I don't remember taking off my helmet. I wonder if I had a horse, whether I'd be able to follow him, or if it would always end up with him bolting away. I wonder what Teresa's doing now. I could stop by and see her. Hey, let's go talk to Teresa. How is it possible, Rats? Those bastards make so bold no more than a mile from the castle. We'll have to send out more patrols. That won't do us any good, Hanush. Even if we had ten times the men, we couldn't beat through every thicket in the fiefdom. You sent for me, sir? Come in. I don't know how to thank you, Henry. If it wasn't for you, Hans would be dead. And to think I sent you out with him as a punishment. <laughs> I was only doing my duty, sir. Don't be so modest, young Henry. You showed not only courage, but loyalty to your liege. That's why I'm taking you into my personal service. <laughs> sir, I... Uh... Thank you, sir. Well, let's celebrate your promotion and Sir Hans's recovery. Well, don't just stand there, lad. Pour us a drink. Is he up and about? Sorry, about? Interrupt, sir. But I've urgent tidings. 
What now? A stable boy came from Neuhoff. He says brigands raided the stud farm this morning. There's many dead or maimed. Good. Tell us exactly what happened. I'm not sure. The boy was so shook up he could barely speak. He said the bandits murdered for the joy of it. I'm sorry, sir. Your vassal Smill is dead. Who did this? Who were they? We don't know, sir. The stable boy just kept babbling about some huge fellow in black armor who led the attack. Take as many men as you need, and don't stop until you've found those bastards. And bring me their heads! Yes, sir. My men at your disposal too, Vinush. Thank you, friend. Sir, let me ride with them. He's full of piss and vinegar, isn't he? Their leader, he must be the one who attacked me at Scalitz. There can't be two men in the whole kingdom who look like that. You think he might still have my sword? No doubt you could use another swordsman, Captain. Uh, as you command, my lord. How soon can you leave, Bernard? Soon as the men are ready, sir. Good. Wait in the courtyard for Henry. And uh, give him a horse. His own mount? His reward for saving Sir Hans. He'll need it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, go! I want these culprits in the hands of the executioner as soon as possible. I won't let you down, sir. Right, so now that we're about to go and uh, do that, I'm going to go see my maybe girlfriend. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later. I hope you uh, have a nice morning, a nice evening, a nice afternoon. And try, everyone.